Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to remove an item uh, from an array with pop and shift. Both push and unshift have corresponding methods that are nearly functional opposites, sh pop and shift. As you may have guessed by now, instead of adding, pop removes an element from the end of an array, while shift removes the element from the beginning. The key difference between pop and shift and their cousins shift, uh, unshift and push is that neither method takes parameters and each only allows an array to be modified by a single element at a time. Let's take a look. With you. Here we've got a, an, a, a, the variable greetings set to be equal to an array with three strings inside of it. One says what's up, one says hello, one says see ya. And then, so what we can do is do we go greetings.pop now equals what's up. Yeah, so what it does is it just removes this array. So this array is morphed into this array by because it's taking the last element off. The same thing with shift, but the other way. So now, greetings is actually equal to this because it actually mutates the array. And then once we shift, that means we remove the first element. And so we're left with an array of just hello. Uh, we can also return the value of the removed element with either method like this. Um, Okay, if we if we pop it off here, they have greetings dot pop, but here they're set this equal to a a variable, and so this variable popped becomes equal to hello uh, becomes equal to the um, last element of the array, which was hello, and then the array becomes nothing or an empty array. We have to find a function pop shift, which takes an array as an argument and returns a new array. Modify the function using pop and shift to remove the first and last elements of the argument array and assign the removed elements to their corresponding variables so that we they re, so that the returned array contains their values okay cool so here's our um, function we're calling the function here and then what we want to do is return uh, shifted and popped so if we're if we pass into this pop shift pop shift uh, function uh, this array, we want to return the first element, which is challenge, and the last element, which is completed. And so, yeah, um, we want popped to be equal to array.pop, and then we want um, shifted to be equal to array.shift. And now, if we console log challenge is not complete, challenge complete. Okay, so this is the array that it, it was initially. Uh, pop shift we have an array of challenge is not complete but we've popped off the first element and we've shifted off the uh, the last popped off the last element and we shifted the um, first element so challenge complete so we've assigned popped to challenge and shifted is uh, completed and so uh, challenge completed or the vice versa the opposite way around yeah, and so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.